Hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to check in out one of your competitions. This is going to be German humor meets American mentality. Science comedian Vince Ebert. Guys, let's get straight into this. Now, we Germans are fascinated by stupid rules, aren't we? In our train stations, innocent smokers are forced to stand in small yellow squares painted on the floor in order to keep the non-smokers away from the poison. That's about as intelligent as dividing a swimming pool into a peeing and a non-peeing section. <laughs> no, I, I really love America because you're such a proud nation. Huh? In the US, you can keep a suicidal person off from jumping just by telling him, sir, you can be proud to be American. If you did this to a German, he would jump before you can finish the sentence. <laughs> I really love America. The American way, always asking, how are you? I mean, they don't care, but they do ask. <laughs> and the answer is always, thank you, I'm fine, I'm great. In Germany, a how are you is not a common greeting phrase, it's a specific medical question. <laughs> How are you? Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> I have problems with my left kidney, my back hurts, I have sore throat. Pretty sure it's cancer. <laughs> a small talk is not our thing in Germany. We meet someone from America at a dinner party, and after five minutes we ask him, what the hell were you thinking when you killed all these Native Americans? <laughs> That's our idea of a relaxed dinner conversation. Now we always wanted to, to get to the bottom of things. And maybe that's the reason why we have so many excellent scientists. 100 years ago, German physicists figured out that light is something in between a particle and a wave. Who gives the shit, Americans say? We just want to light up our rooms. <laughs> Such an approach is way too superficial for us, because we wanted to know exactly what light is. Therefore, the German Max Planck developed quantum physics, whereas the American Thomas Edison only invented the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, without this invention, we would still be sitting around a candle watching Netflix. <laughs> True. German mentality is deeply shaped by the spirit of Goethe's Faust. The desire to understand whatever holds the world together in its innermost faults. And I felt this desire too. When I was 10, I took my canary in its cage outside during a thunderstorm just to check if Faraday was right. <laughs> and he was. Uh, <laughs> the bird wasn't struck by lightning, it died of a heart attack. <laughs> anyway. An American friend of mine said, yeah, I know a lot of our people don't know anything about evolution, and maybe it's be because of our bad education system in America. Yours in Germany is much better. And I don't think it's true. I think we just have a different approach. Uh, in America, they say, we go to school. In Germany, we say, we go into school. So, we Germans enter our school buildings, Americans just hang out in front of them. And maybe that's <laughs> And don't get me wrong, also in Germany, there's a big lack of scientific knowledge. 45% of all German high school students believe that Voltaire invented the battery. <laughs> I want to spend a year as an ampere in France. <laughs> we Germans are afraid of everything stem cells, nuclear power, fracking, genetic engineering, you name it. If the Germans had ruled the world a million years ago, our health and safety regulations would have prevented the discovery of fire. <laughs> we are so full of fear. Before we go on holiday, almost every German takes out a Reiserücktrittsversicherung. 
the most important insurance in Germany, uh, travel cancellation insurance. Almost every German has it. Uh, we book an adventure trip to the cannibals in South America, but only with a Reise Rücktrittsversicherung. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be way too risky. <laughs> One of the first three words German babies learn. Mom, Dad, Reise Rücktrittsversicherung. <laughs> Of course not. Mom and Dad come way later. <laughs> and the fourth word is Fahrvergnügen, joy of driving. And this is very interesting, I think. Driving our cars is probably the only activity we Germans enjoy danger. When an American has a death wish, he strangles a bull's testicles, sits on its back, and tries to ride it for as long as possible. We Germans invented the Autobahn instead. <laughs> Cars are our holy cows. Because it's our constitutional right to go on a family trip in a Volkswagen with the speed of a cruise missile. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit of a cliche, I know. Not every German is into cars. Uh, last year I flew into New York at, and at the border control, the officer asked me, so, you are German, what's your favorite car? And I said, sorry, officer, I don't care much for cars. And all of a sudden, he looked at me very suspiciously. <laughs> you don't have a favorite car, so you can't be German. Sorry, sir, not every German. Put your hand where I can see them. <laughs> Actually, it was a very relaxed routine check, about five hours, and... Uh, <laughs> Forget what you heard about waterboarding, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> it's a Porsche, a Porsche! What model? 911! <laughs> yeah, this is hilarious. Like, this is really, really funny. Like, I, I enjoyed myself. I think it was kind of educative, but I don't think everything he said was true, but, like, it was educative and funny. And, like, this... This made me understand that Germans share a lot, but I don't think that's true. But I get the part that Germans love cars, but we share a lot. I I don't really think that's true. But most of the way Germans talk, I don't really, I can't really hear it. So they kind of talk super fast and... Ugh. But like, I enjoyed this comedy. Like, Vince Ebert is actually a superstar. I think I'll more, I want to check out more of his content in my channel. So guys, please leave this commentation in the comment section, guys, because I really, really want to check out more of his content. Guys, just like, share, subscribe to my channel. You want to see more of his content. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.